is there's a contracted energy that arises in the body that has a particular experience of it being real. So it's no longer a mystery. The mystery is, seems to be lost. It seems to be hidden. It seems to be in, in me getting better, me becoming something. It seems to be hidden in whoever that is sitting in front of the computer screen telling you there's nothing hidden. That's where the mystery goes. And so the ordinariness, that's the fulfillment of everything already, seems to be lost. And in that experience that, what's, that something's missing or lost, the seeker begins. The problem or the difficulty or the conundrum for the seeker is it's looking for what's already happening. So the message isn't about the end of seeking. It comes out of the end of seeking, but it's not suggesting that there needs to be an end of seeking. It's not suggesting that there doesn't, that there shouldn't be the experience that what's happening is real or that there's something wrong with the experience of the mystery that is already everything is lost. It's just a reminder, a message, a, a, a pointing that says that's not true. Nothing's lost. There's nothing to gain. The end of the seeking isn't the finding of anything. So this doesn't have any answers. There's nothing on offer here. There's nothing, there's nothing to give. There's no then special knowledge about what death is or where what's beyond the appearance or anything. There's no specialness that arises. It's actually the end of specialness. The end of seeking is what's happening without seeking. And that's it. Yeah, that's enough. That's a good start. So I guess we'll open up the questions. And like Rita said last time, everybody was very polite. And so there was no need to control the situation. So if you have a question, just ask by unmuting your thing or however that goes. And yeah. I have, I have yeah. a question. Yeah. So you said that at some point I heard you saying that um, the sense of self is a contraction, energetic contraction in the body. Yeah. So I'm wondering, I mean, obviously there's nothing to do and there's apparent selves and all these things, but what I'm curious about is the practicality of releasing through some sort of energetic therapies the um, contraction in the body. Yeah, well, this isn't a therapy. The, the point is, and the difficulty in what your question points out is, there isn't anything truly lost. There isn't anything defined. That, that contracted energy and the arising of the experience of selfing or whatever you want to call it, that the experience is real, is the mystery. It's not hidden. It's only hidden to that which is looking for it. It's not hidden. So the, what could be done to unhide what isn't hidden? So I heard you once say something about there seems to be this apparent dropping away of the contracted energy in the body. Absolutely. So if, the, if that can apparently be encouraged... Right. No, no, no. See, what you're saying is that it's really happening. That's the dream. Hmm. It's not really happening. See, what you think is that the mystery is lost. The experience is that the mystery is lost. The experience is that what happening, what's happening is real. It's not. The mystery isn't lost. You're standing. I mean, look around you. That's all there is, is mystery. That's all there is, is unknowing, appearing as sky and beards and whatever else is happening. That's it. Hmm. So I guess, I guess I just want to wrap my head around this. Um, the apparent dropping away that is spoken of, of that energy, contract energy in the body, it's not that it's good or bad. I'm just wondering about the, because um, if it's going to apparently happen. It's not that it's not good or bad. It doesn't even really happen. But it's you, did once, you did it's once speak... I heard you speak of um, it, it releasing in the, in the person's body that contracted energy. Yeah, that seems to happen. So, 
I'm just that that's what's um that's the sticking point for me right now, just thinking about um releasing that contracted energy. Who would uh, release it? Why would you release it? Why would you want to release it? I mean it happens it, it happens on no, its own come accord. On, come on. You want to release it because you have the experience that there's something missing. That is a dream. So it's a very small circle of wanting to change what is because it seems to be somehow dissatisfying. That's the jog dog chasing its tail. There's nothing to find. I've just heard you speak of this apparent release of the contracted energy happening. Yeah. <laughs> You're not listening. I don't know what to do about it, but you're not listening. You're looking yeah. for something. And what I started with is that this is what's looked for. This is what's longed for. It's not a better this. And the seeking comes out of an experience that's illusory. I, I, it's I not see, happening. I can, I can it's see. It's not happening. How are you going to stop what's not happening? And why so would you want to change what's not happening? But if it's not happening, then why, why describe the, the um, apparent happening of a release of ener contracted energy in the body that happens? Apparently? Well, that's where the message comes from. But it's not a better place to be. But that's, that's how the message arises, is through the recognition that there's nothing to seek and nothing lost. And so let's say the recognition happens that there's nothing to seek and nothing is lost. Mm. And yet the contracted energy in the body is at times there and at times it falls away as well. That's, that happens sometimes. That's not happening here, but that does happen. So I'm just, I guess, um, it's not that I'm unhappy with my reality or anything like that, or maybe unconsciously I am and that's why I have the sense, sense of separation. Mm -hmm. But maybe, the, maybe it can be encouraged. Maybe that's why no, this... No, it's not real. The only reason you would want to encourage it is because there is experience that there's real separation that could be overcome if something happened. There so is why, no separation. That so is an illusion. So why are we having these meetings if there's Because the illusion, the illusion shows up and says, I'm looking for something that's not real or that's not here. And the response is, there isn't anything that's not here. And so... I, so there's no but, reason. It's not but, practical. Right? It's not functional. I'm just curious because you're, um, I guess these meetings that you're holding, mm. I feel like they're a type of encouragement. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess you would. Yeah, so I, I wonder why do you do these meetings? If there's yeah, well, I don't. It's not really happening. It's a response. <laughs> Nobody does it. Nobody does anything. Nobody's asking questions about how do I stop looking or seeking. Nobody does anything. Can you hear me? I can. I can see you too. Hi. Oh, good. Hello. Um, hello. Uh, it's interesting that you started with talking about the how this is what's long for because it always kind of uh, was interesting to me. Uh, and maybe it's a semantic point, but it can. It's, it seems weird that, that anything can be what is longed for because the lung itself can never be satisfied. Um, how, can, how can this be what's longed for? Or why is this what's longed for? Or is it really what, what's longed for? Uh, totally. The dream that it's not is an illusion. Oh, sorry. So I said it's interesting that you, um, you started with talking about how this is... That, that this is what's longed for. Hmm. Because it's always been interesting to me um, how, uh, and maybe it's a semantic point. Uh, so how can separation be what's longed for? Or no, how can, how can this be, how can anything be what's longed for if the longing itself is a, uh, it can never be fulfilled? Well, I guess I'm making a distinction between what's looked for and what's longed for. There's something beyond, which isn't really beyond, but there's something other than the seeking energy in the body. There is something that can recognize this message. 
There's something that can hear it. It resonates. Okay. Okay. So when you say this is what's falling for, it's not what's sought after. It's no. something else. Well, you know, it's just a semantic thing. What's sought after, the individual, the energy of seeking, seeks the next experience. Because it feels like or lives in a world where something is missing. And so it's hoping. All it has to its... To its, what do you say? All it has is knowing. And so it keeps trying to add knowing through experience or collecting other things or whatever to itself, trying to fill the hole that it seems to experience or the not enoughness through the experience of separation or the experience that what's happening is real. That never works, doesn't work. But that doesn't cover over or, or hide this as already what's longed for. Okay. Hey, Jim, can I ask you a question? Yeah, hey. Hey, what's up? Hey. Um, <laughs> um, it's so, it, you said it a, a million times, and it just kind of hit me when you said that, but when you guys are talking about it, it's not the knower um, that longs for this. It, it's not the knower yeah. that longs, yeah. that, that, hear, that hears this. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Can you... And that, that's so mind-blowing that um, I, ca I can't put my finger on what or who or what hears this. Can you talk about um, what there is, it is? No, you couldn't because it's not particular. No. no. So the resonance has nothing to do with uh, Any. me. Yeah, no, no, there isn't a you. Yeah, exactly. And then that's, there's nothing more to say about that? There's nothing to say about anything, really. <laughs> but it's, it just feels so, uh, you know, powerful in a way. Yeah, oh, it is. It's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. It is. Yeah. It's so awesome. And kind of the unfortunate thing is that I almost sometimes take credit for it. Or, or oh, yeah, well, you would. Yeah. Me takes credit um, for everything. It owns everything. That's one of the original energies that arise. There's a knower, an owner, and a seeker. That's, a, that's what initially arises out of the contracted energy. It owns everything. It says it's all happening to me. It almost seems like it makes uh, the resonance or the, the awesomeness kind of less because I kind of make it into something sometimes. Nobody does it. Doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't matter. But the resonance has nothing to do with the uh, contracted energy. No, it doesn't. In the end, nothing has anything to do with anything. There's just what arises. And <laughs> <laughs> um, that's the freedom. Though. Yeah, yeah, that's the freedom. Thanks, man. Thanks. Good to see you. You too. Hi, Jim. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Okay. Um, what about, um, okay, for my whole life, I'm like 65 years old. All my life I've been seeking, trying to be happy. Yeah. I'm experiencing a lot of uh, physical pain and yeah. I've done a lot. I've gotten a lot of glimpses. Yeah. Which um, lasts a few days or hours and then it goes away. Yeah. And so I finally listen to some of your talks and I realize maybe I just got to sit at home and do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, try I, that out. See how that works. Uh, <laughs> it's, I don't know. I don't know what to ask you because I know there's somehow there's no answer. Yeah. To the question that I have, but yeah. So, so the misunderstanding, if I can say it that way, is that you have free will and choice to sit at home and do nothing. And that misunderstanding comes out of the experience that what's being suggested is being suggested to you. And really, not. really what's no, it's not because there isn't a you. There, there is. That doesn't there, help me though. No, well, there isn't a you to help. So, uh, 
How can a person who is experiencing... There are no people. This is not a helpful message. It's not practical. It's not helpful. You can't use it. You can't use it to... Oh, no. Absolutely not. That's, that's how I started the meeting. That what's suggested, what's being pointed to, is that what arises is already not to. It's already what's longed for. What? How come when in the past I've had glimpses that last for like two days or three days, yeah. and I was with the teacher, Francis Lucille, and he said it was over, it was all done, and yet here I am back again in the same place I was before. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happens with the glimpse, but it's not, it's actually not really the same, is it? Because there's something, something's recognized in a glimpse. There's something else when a glimpse arises, which can't be remembered, but it's also never really forgotten. So it's not the same, but what you're describing is what happens apparently to a lot of people. There's a glimpse of what this is, the seeking vanishes or apparently vanishes, and then seeking shows up again. That's just what happens until it doesn't. And it's frustrating, and at some point you just want to just give it, give up. Oh, totally. Try that. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, the thing is, as you're saying, you're talking to me as though you had free will and choice. You can't give up. You can't stop. You're not seeking. Seeking happens out of an impersonal energy that arises in the body that says it knows what this is. And then it goes on hoping to know enough to feel complete. It's a hopeless search because yeah. completion, completion is this already. And nobody ever gets it. So Jim didn't get it. Jim doesn't know what this is. Jim died and seeking stopped. And what's left is this conversation. It's everything. There's no need for anything else. Okay. No. Thank you, I guess that's... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I guess. <laughs> no. No. Jim, may I ask a question? Yes, sir. You just said Jim died. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, you seem very alive to me. Yeah. And, um, okay, I, I know there's a shift that has taken place, or apparent shift, yeah? Uh, is that, would you say that that is the end of suffering? Oh, absolutely. It depends on how you define suffering. So, so, but if you define so, suffering, you. Figuring, oh. Absolutely. If you define Sorry, I've lost you. Uh, uh, can you repeat that, Jim? I missed it. Yeah. If you define suffering as the yeah. end of seeking, then it's the end of suffering. Okay. Right. Good. So that is something that we wholeheartedly long for in the heart. Well, we don't long for it. Or there's something. No we, thing, there's no such thing as we. But okay. Long, there's no individual. I get that. But there's no, something. No, mm. Yeah, there's no individual, but there is a longing still. Yeah, yeah. And that yeah. longing is real. Yeah, that longing no, is real. No, no, there's nothing real. Nothing real. Absolutely not. It's not what is happening. No, 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 no. That's the whole dream. But is it not real and unreal? No, it's, it's, real. 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 it's real and unreal, which you can't make sense of. Uh, okay. It seems real that there's a, a, a part that is not, uh, that longs for the, the end of the individual. Yeah, and, and that, that seeming real is the dream of the individual, that anything is real. I, I get it that what it is that you're saying about uh, no free will, and yet at the same time, part of me says, well, what also you pointed to is a, a, a most um, awesome acceptance of what is. Oh, absolutely not. No? 
Who would accept? That part that is not the individual. Oh, no, no, there's no, there's no, that's too mundane acceptance. This is, this is, in a sense, you could say beyond, but not in a special way, a beyond acceptance. There's no one to or not to accept. I, I get there's no individual, but is there not part of consciousness that is... There's no consciousness, man. Really? No. So is there not when this, for you, when this shift took place, uh, is, there not, is there not still the same um, pure awareness that was there prior? Pure awareness? Man, yeah. there's no awareness, there's no consciousness. That's all part of the dream of the individual. This is unknowing. Awareness and consciousness are things that the individual holds on to. It's a sort of a knowing. All right. right. This, okay. this isn't knowing. This is pointing to that what is already is unknowing appearing. You can't have it. Can't be aware of it. Can't be conscious of it. It's too insubstantial. Okay, so you said before, Jim doesn't get this. You don't get this, right? Nobody gets it. It's not about getting it. It's the oh, end. Okay. Get it. So what is inspiring um, this um, figure that I'm looking at now called Jim Newman to speak what he's speaking? Oh, what was that? How does you. that work? Me? Well, of course. <laughs> right. Part of my dream. Well, it's just, this is just a response to the question. There's, no, there's no teaching. There's no... no no teaching. No. This isn't telling you anything. It seems to be saying what it is that I imagine is true that it actually isn't. Uh, absolutely. So it might be taking something away, but nobody does that. The message merely points out that what appears is unknowable. And that appearance of unknowability can have the experience of <laughs> knowing. Shut the fuck up and learn to read, bro. Who? Who? Hey? Yeah, somebody, somebody, I think, I don't know what they wanted. No. On now. <laughs> somebody sounded upset. Yeah. <laughs> Not surprising. <laughs> it's an upsetting message, Jim. That's a very, that's a very rational response to this message. Shut yeah. the fuck up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bro. <laughs> See, I, I'm getting it. That I find it inspiring. It's incredibly inspiring. Yeah, it totally. Is. Oh, it is. Really? Oh, it is inspiring, isn't it? And, and so the next step is if you're so inspired, that inspiration needs to be expressed in some way. Not in any way at all. No, these conversations are inspirational. But there's, no, there's nothing that arises that talks about this otherwise without a question. But okay, yeah. so there's no expression. There's just simply the inspiration. Totally. Absolutely. And that inspiration can bring about this shift. No, nothing brings about the shift. The shift doesn't happen. Well, it happened to you, didn't it? It didn't happen to me. Okay, it happened anyway. And it happened, you. Shut the fuck it up, happened as much as anything else happens. Nothing really happens. It only really That's happens... Cool. There's only a dream that something needs to happen in the dream of the individual. Yeah. The of the poetry class is this shit. Nothing really happens. No, no. Nothing really this happens. Is not this isn't um, really happening. Sir, 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 someone has a question. I was looking at what it is you were saying about, or, or rather, the, the event that took place that when... It's the not real, man. You're not going to find it. We can't talk about the event that took place as though it's real. It doesn't really happen. Okay. This, if you want that event which took place, this is that. Oh, right. You can't find it. Okay. How can you find what is already? I love that. I, I mean, I love the fact that, you know, everything that you say in response to what I'm saying points to the fact that everything that I'm saying is ridiculous because this is a dream and you well, can't it's not make ridiculous. Sense out of it. It's so, not ridiculous. It comes out of the dream, looking for something other than what arises. And there just isn't anything else. So the question is, um, did I ask this question, Jim, that is this the end of suffering? And I think you said, yes, it is the end of suffering. If, we, so define, if we define suffering as seeking, this is the end of suffering. 
Yeah. So that brings a motivation, doesn't it, to end to end seeking? Well, the the mo the seeking doesn't want to end seeking. Seeking wants to survive. Why? Well, it's afraid of death. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it is. If Why? It's not, it has some concept of what it thinks death is going to be, so that it feels good about it. Because this is death. Death and unknowing are the same thing. Quite, quite. Yes. This is death. What we call life is death, and it's very tiring, it's very tight, it's very constricted, it's very... No, no we've lost each other. Oh. I'm talking about this is unknowing. Yeah. Which is death to the individual. Right. It can't be wanted. There's a sense, though, that the individual is an encumbrance and that freedom would be the end of it. At, well, the end of the individual is the revelation that there never was one. Quite. Yeah. So this is all there is. This is all there is. Yeah. 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 But when you say it, is it different from when I say it? Absolutely not. Okay, great. Then we're one. Well, we're not separate. There's no separation. No. There, no. there aren't two to come together. No, no. So, I, so I, I'm totally in agreement with everything you're saying. I have been I've listened to you a few times, and there's nothing that I can say that will say, well, that's, that's, that doesn't make sense, or that's not true. Mm. I know that this is a dream, and I know that I'm the dreamer, and, um, yeah. And so um, then you just, uh, and as you pointed out, that doesn't mean that I have to accept that, or accept that, or I have the choice to accept it that. you. There isn't to me. That's yeah. the dream. Okay. That's the dream. All but the I end of the dream yeah. isn't that somebody wakes up. Ah, that was, a, that was a question I want to ask you then. If there is a dream, there must be a dreamer. Dream and the dreamer are the same thing. Nobody okay. wakes up. No, no, <laughs> nobody wakes up. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you would at least you'd have thought you'd get that one right. <laughs> so, oh, what can I say? I said thank you. Oh, thank you. Bless I have you. a question, Jim. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, my question is um, regarding relationships. So with anybody in your life, is it not that when you, because when I started listening to you, I feel like it's hard for me to have that um, relation with other people because it's like, it's kind of like a story, like a, like a dream. So yeah. I'd like to know your uh, thoughts of this. There are no relationships. Yeah, that's sad. <laughs> that's it. Well, what else would you like? I, there's no help here. I can't tell you anything that's going to help you or make it better. As long as an individual, it's going to be making deals with their partners and everybody else in their relationship with. So you don't have any relations? There isn't life. anybody. And this isn't about the end of somebody. It's about the, it's just pointing out there isn't anyone. There's never two. There's just not two. There's just looking at the, at the, at the, at the camera. That's all there is. And hearing these words, that's it. There's nothing else. And the so airplane. <laughs> so every person that you know in your life, you have the same, you believe it's the same connection. You're, you're, ta you're talking about that there's a gym that has a life. Nobody has a life. You don't have a life. There's just what's happening. This. Yeah, I understand. I understand your words or I don't, whatever. But um, yeah, that's my question. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Um, it seems like there's a qualitative difference between um, when the resonance appears. Yeah. And normal life is going. Yeah. And when the resonance appears, it, it, it appears to, there's no suffering. There isn't it. The mystery and the um, unknowing. How would I say it? It just feels qualitatively 
different? Is that yeah. a, again just an appearance? Or yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So even that is not. Um, there's no value to anything. No, I just wondered with this contraction thing. Yeah. Whether when the resonant resonating is happening, whether the contraction is not it coexisting at the same time in that moment. Well, I mean, it can it can seem to relax or contract more, but nobody is aware of the contraction out of which that knowing arises until it falls away. It's only in its falling away as it's recognized for what it is. Yeah. And that appears to be a moment in time, but that's just an appearance. Totally. Okay. It's equally as unreal as this talk. Say again, sorry? It's equally as unreal as this conversation. Couldn't hear it, but I, it's I equally you as answered unreal. my question, though. Maybe my... Uh, hmm. Okay, it's come back. It's come it's back. It's equally as unreal as this conversation. Get it. I got it. Yeah. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, thanks. Hello, Jim. Hey, man. Hey, oh. thanks for doing this meeting. Uh, my question is it, it appears that war is pretty real, like, you know, yeah. what's going on. So, can you talk about that? And then, secondly, what is it that has the recognition? Thanks. Nothing. No one has the recognition. It's the end of something that wasn't happening. And war is war, and it sucks. And that's unconditional love appearing as war. See, the individual lives in a world of intention where what appears isn't good enough. And so it expects things to, it has a, it has a conditioned idea or concept of what this appearance should and shouldn't be, which is just a reflection of its need for this appearance to become something else. So it says certain things are good and bad, certain things are bad. It has to, that's its path to find what it feels is missing. So it has to say death and destruction is bad and love and all these other things that it thinks babies are good. And that just completely misses the mystery that arises and appears as war and as babies. Right, because it, it does, from my past experience, it appears that trauma, et cetera, things, you know, war or whatever happens so spontaneous and it's like, it just, it just this appears. Is that, like, this is spontaneousness. Yeah. This is spontaneous. Yeah. There is only that spontane spontaneity. Yeah. Unconditioned. This is chaos. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. I appreciate your talks. Yeah, thanks. Hey, Jim. Hey, man. I have a question. Uh, I wonder sometimes why I'm drawn to this message. I don't really understand it. I guess it can't be understood. Um, I haven't had glimpses, uh, and I'm not particularly unhappy. Uh, and, I, and I'm just wondering, is there something else that, that draws me to the message? Is, it a, is there some? Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the answer yeah i don't have a better one sorry all right no problem i, I heard uh, tony say at one point that that people either rejected the message or they're fascinated by it or they recognize something in it that's you know that's maybe deeper than the me and, totally. and i wonder i wonder if that might be it's a it, does it resonate with something that's deeper than me? Only. It doesn't resonate with the me. It either can't do anything with it or it has to reject it because it doesn't, it doesn't actually acknowledge a me. It doesn't recognize that there is an individual. And it doesn't recognize it because there isn't one. Uh -huh. Yeah. So really the, the, the thing that's, that attracts the apparent me to it is, is not me. It's just... No. It's, it's the same thing that delivers the message from Absolutely. you. Yeah, okay. Which is the same thing that's asking this question. Uh -huh. There's nothing else. It's a dream that there has to be something else. Right. This is already fulfilled. Okay. 
Thank you. Good answer. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Jim. Hey. Hey, man. <laughs> Thanks for doing this. Yeah. So there is no individual. I get it. It's utterly frustrating. Yeah. To, to hear that. Mm -hmm. And my question is that, uh, so what you're saying, there's nothing to do about it. Right? No, there's no one. No, no. I mean, the me, I mean, cannot do anything about it. Well, there's nothing that needs to be done because this is all there is. Okay, so, so everything is just fine as it is. No, of course not. Nobody would say that wharf is fine. It's just what seems to be happening. There's just what seems to be happening. It's emptiness appearing. And it has no intention, it has no need to be what it is or to change. It's utter freedom, just appearing. And that appearance can be beautiful, ugly, wonderful, terrifying. It's just what happens. Okay, and the message is that the me doesn't exist, it, it cannot do anything, right? Absolutely. Well, there isn't one. Yeah. Yeah. There isn't one. And, and uh, my question is that um, uh, I know only two people saying this sort of, it's, it's an extreme message. Yeah. There, there are a variety of teachings out there, yeah. religions, yeah. Yeah. and each one of them has something to offer to, to, the, to the person, to the yeah. individual. So, mm -hmm. so it implies to me that, I mean, these teachings... I mean, the me can't do something about it. Okay. Whereas, whereas what your message totally disagrees with that. Yeah, that's true. So, so it's not even my message. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know, I know. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> so the message here, and and I mean, how come it's it's only only two people uh, saying this, and and the rest of the teachings, worldviews, religions. Uh, doesn't comply with, with this message. Yeah, I don't know. I guess the other people who are, who, who, where this has been recognized know better than to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, I've got a question. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, basically, I, I, I just had the realization, I was just sitting here, and I just had the realization earlier today that I'm always wanting to change what is, you know, it's, yeah. it's so automatic that I don't even notice it anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just sitting and thinking, just, this has got to change and then it'll be fine. Yeah, totally. Um, so, and, and then I just thought, well, is it possible for, for the separate individual to see what is, because, you know, a lot of the message says it's just what is, you know? Mm -hmm. So, so, Again, me trying to do something, I was thinking that, I was sitting in, I was thinking, you know, this can't, I could actively see my brain rejecting, like, yeah. this, this can't just be it, you know, yeah. me sitting in this chair in my living room. Too simple. And, yeah, it's too simple. And, I could, and, and it's like I'm watching my brain rejecting it, and it's, and it's just so bizarre, you know. It's yeah. just like I, I can see my brain working. It's not your brain. It's not your brain. It's an energetic rejection. The brain is just news. It's just a reporter. It's a, you know, it's a biological computer. It's not about the brain. It's about an energy that arises out of the contraction in the body. That rejects it. That says, this isn't it. There must be something more. I need something more. And there's nothing to do or not do about it. It's just what, like what could be done to make this what it is already? Nothing. No. But the me will still want to change it. Absolutely. It's just until it doesn't. Until, until it dies. So there's, there's nothing to do or not do because by not doing it, it's also doing something. Same thing. Yeah, totally. And it's, and it's also everything that's happening as it words are coming out of my mouth is it anyway. Absolutely. But yeah, it's just checkmate. You know, it's yeah, it's completely, yeah. So, okay, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Just uh, another question. Yeah. So you said 
it's there until it dies, right? It's there yeah. until it isn't. That sounds like a bit like a, a bit of um, a bit like a bit I also awakened. said it's not there. Yeah, but you just said that it's there until it isn't. You know, yeah. Well, somebody's talking out of the dream that they're having the experience of looking for something else. When that dream ends, it's recognized it never happened. Right. So that experience, some might call an awakening. It's not an experience, and it is an awakening. But nothing this is also point, We're trying to point to something that can't be known or understood. It's not an experience. It's not but something nothing, outside of you that you could add to you. It, is, nothing, it yeah. is the words coming out of your mouth. All we're pointing out is that this conversation is everything without beginning or end. It's not coming from anywhere or going anywhere. And as long as there's the experience that it's coming from somewhere, there'll be the need for it to go somewhere. But isn't this meeting also an apparent working out? Of Absolutely the not. What could work out what is already? But isn't there some motivation for you to do these meetings? Absolutely not. It's a total response from nothing. I feel like we might have strayed away from, like, I, I know it's, I know it's, uh, language is so interesting when it comes to this, isn't it? Not really. Um, I mean, it's also not, not really. It's just concepts pointing to what can't be known. And you will continue to try to know what can't be known until that experience that this is happening really stops. But I feel like the discussion about this is a type of trying to know what can't be known without well, saying that it is. And that, that is exactly what you're doing. And it won't go anywhere. You can't do it, man. How could you know what's not what can't be known? It's just what arises. There aren't two, man. There just aren't two. It's simply a singular appearance that might appear to two, but it's not two. There's nothing happening, so there's nothing to find. There's nothing to work out. There's nothing to know. And yet there seems to be an interaction happening between all of us here together. Absolutely. Well, yeah, apparently. apparently. That's, just, that's just what is arising as apparent interaction. So I guess what we're speaking about, there's not even a point to speak about it. And then what's totally. left is right. And then what's left is just living life. Well, nobody lives and, life. There is no life. There's just I mean, this conversation. I mean, apparent, I mean, there, what's left is what already always was. There isn't an always already was. There's only what arises. But you, yes. but what I just said is sounds the same way as what same thing as what you just said around what's yes, arising. Yes, so you misunderstand what's being said. That's all right. There isn't an always. Well, there is, a, uh, there, there is what is, apparently. Well, only, yeah. yeah, but it's emptiness. It's not real. You can't recognize it. If you know what is, you're in a dream. Knowing what is, understanding what is, is part of the dream of the individual, which leads to seeking, or is seeking. Uh, I have some time, uh, I, I've had some time ago, a glimpse mm. and uh, it was about four or five hours not more mm. but uh, most of it uh, I cannot remember it but uh, it what? it didn't happen to you that's why you can't yes, remember I, I cannot speak with you otherwise and yeah I know uh, yeah uh, but uh, I can uh, remember the there was a not a feeling, an awareness of non-separation. Yeah. And uh, it was very strong and very beautiful. Yeah. And uh, my question is, uh, <clears throat> you said um, there is no awareness no. in nothingness, but what was that that was aware of the non-separation? Nobody was. You don't remember what that was like. Yes, but it seems to something remember. I know, exactly, and that's not what happened. And you, and you say that in nothingness there is no awareness, not impersonal or no well, awareness at all. Just to be clear, what we're talking about is knowing. Awareness of, conscious of, is a sense of knowing. Knowing is, a, is, a, is an experience 
of solidity. And that rises out of that contracted knowing energy in the body. And when that collapses, apparently, if that other guy is listening, <laughs> not really, then it's obvious no one's aware. There's just but, unknowing. Yes, I, I, I don't uh, speak about personal uh, awareness. I, and, I mean, what I'm suggesting aware, is there is only aware. personal awareness and only personal consciousness. Uh. You can't say anything about what arises. You can't say anything about this. Anything that's said as a form of a description or of a knowing is a part of the dream and of the individual. Okay, and uh, the second question, I, I can see or know that there are bodies without <clears throat> a me, but uh, there is uh, a me without a body? No. Oh, so when the... But just the, to be clear, there isn't a me already. Yes, I, I mean a, an apparent uh, me or... No, or no, there isn't illusory. an apparent me. There might, be the, there might be the dream, but there isn't one. That's, that's the recognition. When me falls away, the recognition is there never was me. Nothing was lost, there's nothing to find. So, and the recognition, whom, uh, I mean, whose recognition is? No one. No one. No one. It's the end of something that wasn't happening. But is an awareness about these recognition? Absolutely I, not. It's the end uh, of awareness. It's the end of the dream of awareness. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, hi, Hey, man. Um, uh, I uh, participated in one of your meetings in Vienna in March. Yeah. Uh, and after the meeting, I went to an Irish pub uh, where I sat down to watch um, some football. <laughs> and uh, a lady, an Irish lady, she was above, yeah, no, she was more than 80 years old and she sat beside me and she wanted to talk and she... Uh, started to ask the same questions again and again and again. So it was obvious she had Alzheimer's. Mm. Um, and I asked you in the meeting something about perspective. What is perspective? Are there different perspectives? I mean, mm. apparently I'm here and, <laughs> and you uh, are there, even that's if... That's the dream. Exactly. And that's what you also told me. That's... <laughs> 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 Uh, and I and I and I accept it, uh, not oh. only on an intellectual level. It, it, it's it's quite obvious. Um, but the interesting part was I I started to get annoyed with this lady mm -hmm. uh, for five minutes, and then I something happened in the room where she asked me the same question three times, uh, something of the kind of Do you have brothers and sisters? She was Irish, and I have red hair, so she was very excited. Um, and I started to just get into the conversation where I answered fresh mm. every time. Yeah. And there was uh, no agitation, no irrit irritation, nothing. And it was fun every time. Mm. <laughs> uh, would you say that there still is... Uh, uh, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Would you? I mean, there still is the lady and my contracted energy body there, or even even if the situation is is is, I, I really felt it as non-dual. Yeah. I, well, why not? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Why yeah. not? Yeah. Because there is duality in non-duality, and it doesn't matter, right? Well, there's the pair. Uh, there's the apparent, but there's nothing. To, there's not two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This yeah. isn't special. We're not talking about something special happening. Yeah. The only specialness is that is the individual. Which so is so when that stops happening, which isn't special, there's just what's happening, ordinariness. Yeah, exactly. It's just simple. It is. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Jim. Hey, man. Um, when you use the, your, the word uh, dream, yeah. uh, do you use it in the sense that um, 
like I dream at night? No, that it's completely unreal. Okay, but the dream at night is still both real and unreal. Totally. So it's something like that? or It's an illusion. No, no, I guess illusion would be a better word. It's completely unreal. Mm. It's real while we're still in it, but it's, it's never real. It never has any reality on any level at all. Only within the dream for the individual does it seem real. It does, it's not real. Nothing's real. See, for the dream of the individual, this conversation is part of a real continuum that had all sorts of happenings in it. When there's no one, it's obvious there's no continuum. There's simply what arises, and this is that. There's no dream. Mm. So maybe it's like when we say the word country, mm. it's just a concept in the mind, but country doesn't exist. Nothing exists. They're just what arises. We've got a clash of people. Yeah, a clash. <laughs> We've got a fight. <laughs> I see you now. Let's go. Okay. What do you mean by contracted energy? I've heard this phrase a few times, and I don't understand. Just, just the meaning of the word. Contracted um, attention. A physical tension in the body. Oh, like, like uh, okay, like tension. Yeah. Or but it's not anything. Gathering together. Yeah. Okay. But it's not, it's not like something that the individual or anyone could be aware of. It's too intrinsic in the experience of seeking. It's only as it, when it falls away that it's recognized for what it was. The seeker, the knower, the owner. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Hey, Jim. Hey. Hey. So this can't really be said... Mm -hmm. And at the same time, when I hear people try to say it, mm -hmm. sometimes there's this reaction like, no, that's bullshit. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the reaction like, huh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and even listening to your videos, if I go back and listen to an earlier video, mm -hmm. compared to a new one that comes out, the new ones always strike me as closer mm -hmm. to it than the old ones. Mm -hmm. My question is, is this something that you notice as well? And what do you make of it? Well, there's, since the beginning, there's certainly been a deepening. But, you know, people resonate with different speakers. doesn't matter. Jim, just I had a quick question, a uh, clarification on separation. There isn't any. Right. So... Is that like, if you take a string, there's two ends of a string, there's no separation? No, no, there's no distance between the two ends. There's no distance. All no, right, thanks. No distance, no. Hello, can I uh, ask a follow-up question to that, please? Yeah. Hi, um, I'm, I'm just wondering whether uh, we could define this idea of separation itself okay. is it is it just the idea that, that we think things happen to us it's not and, and it's not thought it's an experience there is a solidity in the body which arises in everything else that makes it seem like what arises is real separate okay. and 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 that experience gives this idea of like a, an inside and an outside to the universe yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, Jim, again. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't remember if it was, uh, I heard it from you or from um, Tim Freak, but um, it was a talk, I remember, and something coming out of nothing. And it was combined with the discussion about uh, quantum physics. Mm, I wouldn't have said that. Sorry? I wouldn't have said something coming out of nothing. Okay. Uh, what do you make of that quote, though? A story. A story. Yeah. It's a story which can be understood. Yeah, exactly. See, see this is yeah. nothing. Because everything is everything, yeah. No, no, because this is nothing. It's not coming out of nothing. It's not becoming anything. Because it is. It is nothing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Thank you. 
Okay. Hey, just a quick question. You mentioned um, Jim. Yeah. Hey. Hey. You mentioned that um, the contracted energy is a tension. It's a tension in the body. Yeah. Apparently, apparently. it's not real. There is no yeah. tension. There is no individual. There is no duality. I know, but when you were speaking about it, yeah, uh, you were mentioning how the contracted energy is a tension. Yeah. Where in the body is the it? Whole body. The whole body. A whole body. All the way to the end of your beard. From your toes uh, to the end of your beard, all the way. Everything. Okay. And, yeah. So, you're just saying it's a whole body. It's a body experience. Yeah. It is the experience. There is no other experience. Would you say that it extends beyond the body as well? Into the no, environment? No just idea. the body. I mean, in the sense... To me, I don't know, sure, not sure what you mean, but when it arises in the body, it actually arises in everything else. So including space and time. And therefore the entire experience or the entire appearance seems to be or have the quality of being real, solid. A couple of things come along with that, that it's meaningful and purposeful. And that so, is all part of the illusion of the individual. None of it's happening. Uh, so, you know, when you wake up from a dream, uh, you realize that although it was like you in the dream, mm. it wasn't really you and it wasn't really happening. Mm. So, is it like that? A little bit. You know? In some ways, in some ways, the dream is less real because it never really happened. And in some ways, it has a profundity to it because it's the end. It's the end of, a, of an illusory, illusory reality that seem to be real. So, yes and no, I'd have to say. Yeah, but, um, like when you wake up, the dream disappears, right? Yeah. I mean, it's still in your head, but it's like you realize that it's not really there. Yeah. So now, this is different because when, when, when it stops happening, it never happened. Well, the same as in a dream. In a dream. No, the dream you can remember as really happening. It seemed to happen. This is the recognition it never happened. It didn't seem to happen. It never happened. Yeah. There is no individual. Yes. <sighs> Jim? Yes, sir. I'm a guest, sir. <laughs> I want to ask you about the free will and choice. You, you say you there say isn't any. Yeah, I know, I know. Sometimes <clears throat> I feel that I have a free will. Sometimes I, I have the feeling that I don't. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm aware that that's all what's happened to but me. But you're missing I, the point of the message. Yeah. The message isn't about you and how you feel. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm there, trying to say. It's just that there isn't a you. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I feel like. I, I don't decide nothing. And when I say to somebody, I speak to somebody about that, nobody understand me because yeah. I know that I feel it. That I so I'll give you advice. I normally don't give advice, but I'll give you advice. Don't talk to people about it. Yeah, yeah, I stop. I stop. <laughs> I, that, this is hey, how are you? We want to invite you to Israel. Uh, I'd love to come to Israel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, and uh, uh, last question, I see yeah. people in, in, uh, in our groups that pray to God, to high power, God. Nobody pray. prays, praying happens. There isn't pray. any. Okay, yes, thank you, yeah, praying happens, yeah. <laughs> Only yeah. apparently, though. Yeah, yeah. And the wishes come true, that I don't understand how, how it's possible. Yeah. I see people pray and, and the, the, the wish that the, the they have, it's mm. come true. Yeah, wow. It's that's what's happening, or it's, it's there's uh, only what there's only what seems to be happening. There's nothing really happening. Okay, thanks a lot, Jim. Really yeah, thank we you. We love you. We love you. Love you too, thank man. You. Thank you. Hi, Jim. Hey. Hey, nice to see you. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? I can. Yeah. Can so, right? Could you say that everything is appearing? But it's not a thing. It's not a solid object. Totally. Yeah. And and that that doesn't change whether there's a me or not a me. Well, that, if, if there's a me, it seems to be real. Pardon? 
If it's a me, it seems to be real. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I know what you mean, and I mean the the appearance is exactly the same. The feelings, the thoughts appearing. The I feelings. would never say that. I would never say that. As long as there isn't an individual, all of that stuff has a different color or flavor to it because it's happening to me. It's covered in the need of meaning and purpose. It has, it, it, has, it has a quality of free will and choice. It has the quality of what that, that, those things create sort of a dream world where I have right and wrong and good and bad, where I have some sort of, where the whole appearance seems to have a value of which I am either fulfilling or not fulfilling. That whole, that whole construct collapses with the, ex with the collapsing of the experience of I am. Yeah, and so here, everything still appears. There are still feelings. There are still lots of thoughts. Yeah. But the difference is that the appearance is exactly the same. Yeah. The only difference is that they are empty now. Totally. Well, that's it. Same thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Hello, great. Jim. Thank you. Hey, man. So, th there is the experience of s something here wanting something else, something yes. else than what is. Yeah. And... And there's this message and, and, and the experience is that the message is sought out because it thinks that there's, there, there will be a change incited by this message or yeah. some other message. Yeah. And uh, so you'll get bored soon enough and go to something else. Uh, yes. And that, and that has happened. <laughs> yes. Uh, and, and, and yet, and yet there seems to be, more and more clarity with the various messages that are there and, and received. There's a loosening, there's an opening yeah. up of that yeah. desire for mm. something to change. Yeah. And and I and I and I hear others kind of touching on this too, but it's it's almost it seems almost unavoidable that there's still the clinging to the process. What yeah. what is it that's going to bring this experience to an end? Yeah, that's hope. The individual lives in hope. And, and, and so I'm, I'm, I'm relatively new to your, your particular phrasing of this, but I, I think watching you for five minutes is kind of enough to see. It like, is, yeah, it is. totally. And, yeah. Um, and, and of course, my mind wants to say, well, then why are you doing this? Why, yeah, well, why nobody's is doing anything. Here? You're not asking a question. Sure. So... No, 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 not sure. <laughs> there's no one there. That's nothing asking a question. A dance, and this is nothing dance, responding. Nothing. All there is is nothing. This conversation is nothing conversing. It's not coming from anywhere or going anywhere. has no meaning or purpose. It's completely empty, insubstantial. And, and, and you at one point had a story like what I was describing, a, a, an experience of wanting something other than what was. Yeah. And that... Uh, that just, to be, uh, just to be clear, not to be pedantic, to be clear. Sure. Nobody has a story. The story and the individual are the same thing. Right, right, yeah. yes. But there was, there, there was the, the is, experience. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they're, they're synonymous with each other. Yeah. And... But but there seems to be an apparent end to that, like a withdrawing of yeah. that yeah. energy. And uh, and and I just I want to ask, what is it that one does? Yeah, nobody does anything. See, you're thinking that the end of, that the dream actually ends. The end of the dream is that there never was a dream. This is the end of the dream. And what, what sees that? What nothing. Sees that? So nothing recognizes itself in anything. Nothing, no, no, no. There's the end of something that didn't happen. Nobody recognizes it. 
There's no story. It's over before it even started. And so there's nothing to get. Yes. There's nothing to do because there's nothing lost. There's nothing missing. And we're, we're still, we're drawn to the message like a moth. Yeah. Yeah, some are. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jim. Hey. Hello again. Uh, so um, when the, so in these meetings, it feels, uh, it's just so obvious that uh, this is all true, not true, whatever. Uh, and when it, when the me goes away, when it dies, is it basically like this, but never, but uh, the I never comes back? Uh, or uh, another way I could ask that is, um, is it obvious when the me goes away? Yeah, it's obvious that there it. was one. And that this, this was, this, this, there, there is only wholeness. There is only no thing appearing. Absolutely. Hey, Jim. Hey, man. Hi. Um, what was I going to say? In your experience, have you any notion of what's going to happen next? Nobody does. Yeah, so, like, for me, I know I'm, I'm about to go outside. Ah, uh, you might be dead before you get out there, man. You don't know. So for you, there's just no notion. No one does. Hap- yeah, okay. No one does. It's, just, it's a dream. It's always totally fresh. It's a, well, of course. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And cheers. Cheers. Hi, Jim. Hey. Um, can I oh, you made it. Good. Hello. Hello. Um, I feel completely helpless hmm. because um, I listened to the message that uh, you're sharing quite a few times, and I know that there's nothing that I can do to end the experience of seeking. Hmm. And it's just so dissatisfying, just constantly needing something different, constantly needing more, constantly needing something more, and it's just never enough. And I'm just always so frustrated. I get the thing that I think I want and it doesn't stop the seeking and it's just like a constant obsession. This is the way that I experience it. Mm. So I don't really have a question. I just want the seeking to stop and mm. I guess you might say that that's it's seeking. Actually happening. No, I said that's seeking. Got in? Wanting the seeking to stop is seeking. So, I, I don't get it. <laughs> no, I don't either. I just fully, I feel powerless, like there's nothing I can do. Well, there isn't a you. I wish that I didn't experience being a me. Mm, you don't. You are but a I me. Still, yeah, that I experience of like I I, I still Nobody have, has it. What's that? I still have the experience that I'm real. And uh, that things matter and that I need uh, to work it all out and get somewhere. And I'm just exhausted, like fully exhausted. It's exhausting, yeah. Yeah. But the only thing I think left to say is thank you. I know you're not sharing the message, but thank you for sharing the message. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, And it it obviously does resonate because I keep coming back to it. And (laughs) there's times when I hate it and I don't want to listen to it. But then after a couple of days, I start listening again. Um, (laughs) It is, it is a great message. No. Oh. That's it. Hi, Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Jim. Hey. Hey. Um, when the seeking stopped, and yeah. there's initially sort of a wow of like everything's empty. Everything's yeah. Really empty. Yeah. Is there any sense of d- disappointment there? And, I, and that might be the wrong word, actually. Um, a surprise. Surprise. It's a, it will appear it was apparently, a, it was, there was a surprise. Yes, yes. There, yeah, yeah. This, after the wow and the surprise mm. is gone. And was, was, there, was there any? No. No. Okay. No That's one to be disappointed. Pardon? 
no one to be disappointed. Yeah, I know. I, I guess you might say the whole that. need for this to be something special or different just doesn't arise anymore in that way. Yeah, because it's just very ordinary. It's just, yeah. It. I mean, it's kind of like yeah, this is what it always was, all the time. Yeah. But I, but everything was just brought. Stories were just made of it, and concepts yeah. just made of it. But it's actually just empty all the time. Yeah, but there is no there's not even all the time. Pardon? There's not there's even no, all the time. There's, no, there's not all the time. No, I'm just yeah. I'm using concepts to describe. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. I don't know how else to describe it? But but there is, you know, there's there's kind of in the wow and the, the sort of. Everything is empty, but there is something else going on there, and I can't really put words to it. Well, there isn't. Hmm? There isn't anything else going on. Hmm. No, apparently, there's. No. 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 That's a, that's part of the illusion. That's hope that there's something else, something more. No. No. When there's. There's when no there's problem. when there's no one when there's no one left, there's no, no need for there to be anything else than no, what's exactly. happening. That's it. That's the fact that I'm talking about. The fact is the fact that there is absolutely nothing else. Yeah. There's yeah. a. There's almost. I, I know you're going to say who's disappointed, but there's some sort of disappointment in that. Mm, I can understand that. Yeah. 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 Mm. And I just wondered if you'd. I, I just wondered if you, you know, it's, it is apparent. It's mm. also empty. The disappointment's mm. also empty. Mm. But it's like, yeah, this seems to me there would have to be somebody for there to be disappointment. Yeah. And well, uh, maybe disappointment's the wrong word, but mm. the fact that, you know, just the fact that this is it, you know, and there is absolutely nothing else mm. is. Um, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seemed awesome for a time, and then it seemed, I don't know, I suppose it's difficult to describe. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, okay. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Can I, I ask do. a question, Jim? I yeah. Just a couple more, because actually we're sort of... It's sort of time to stop. Yeah, go for it. Me? Right. Um, yep. This message tells us there's nothing to look for, that there's nothing that we can do and that there's nothing. Yet um, it keeps us on the go like because there seems to be well, the fact that people like you are talking about it and talk about sort of a shit that happens, it, it, it tells us that there is something actually. <laughs> so it's pretty contradictory and I was mm. a bit worried that um, maybe we're all looking all our lives for nothing. Totally. Absolutely. So that's terrible. Yeah. It's not really happening though. So perhaps we shouldn't hear about the message. It would be better to keep it secret. Nobody ever hears the message. Like you haven't heard it. You think I'm actually talking about the point of the message being a shift. It's not. The message, the telling, the, the sharing seems to come out of a shift, but the shift doesn't happen. It's a dream. It's the end of something that wasn't happening. So this is not suggesting that you should go looking for a shift because it never happens. What's longed for is this, what's happening already. It's already empty. It's already meaningless. It's already free. It's already unconditional. And nobody ever finds it. Seeking it hides it. But it doesn't make it go away. It doesn't yeah. make it not this already. Oh. And so hearing that there needs to be a shift is misunderstanding what's being suggested. There is no shift. There is no me. It's an illusion. But all I can do is try to convince myself of the fact that... Oh, no. Well, you're totally misunderstanding. This has nothing to do with you. You will never convince yourself. It won't happen. Trying to convince yourself is just looking for another shift. 
thrown up. Yeah. Yeah. But nobody's doing that. And it has no effect whatsoever on the reality that this is already whole. This is not saying there should or shouldn't be a shift, that it's better to know or understand or recognize, none of that. The message is, this is wholeness. There is only wholeness. There is only no thing appearing. It's over. It's over before it started. There is no seeking. There is no contraction. There is no seeker. There's nothing to find. Only a story. It's only a story. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Uh, there is an appreciation of the um, duo in the. Oh, I know. That's because there's an experience that duality is real. It's not. Exactly. If there's an appreciation of a duel, then there'll be a teaching to overcome the duel. It'll talk to you as a real individual. And that just all comes out of knowing. I agree with you. Knowing that has that experience and it just tries to help other people through knowing to find a better experience. And this message isn't that. This message is unknowing. Exactly. And all there is is unknowing. And that's what this conversation is, unknowing. Yeah. Talking to unknowing about unknowing. <laughs> okay, I love you all. Thank you all very much. Um, we probably, we might do Jim. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. 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 Well done. It was good. Bye, Jim. Thanks, man. That was great.